What's up, everybody? Wanted to comment on recent Fuentes stuff. And he had this debate with Destiny. Which was interesting. I think the... the the biggest inaccurate take among dissidents like America First is the false equivalence which they always make like uh, NATO expansion into Ukraine is is a threatening so now Russia has the right to you know invade the whole country or saying things like oh well the US bombed Serbia so they can't say anything about Russia invading the Ukraine and the US invaded Iraq. So, like, who are we to question anybody? They're just kings of the false comparison or the false equivalence. Um, they use this in many, many different arguments. Um, false equivalence just dominates, and you can see this in this debate. Um, the big mistake there is. Uh, He's constantly saying, you know, like, Russia has this right to protect itself by invading Ukraine to prevent NATO from expanding, which is really a defensive alliance and operation. I mean, there's not really, like, a standing, menacing, aggressive NATO army. It's just a... An army is assembled, pretty much, when it's necessary. I don't know how many active NATO troops there are at any one given time. But he constantly uses this false comparison, like NATO potentially considering expanding into Ukraine is an existential threat to Russia, so they have the right to invade, which is, you know, like 10 levels above NATO expansion and actual invasion. Russia has the right to self-determination and defense. But what about the Ukrainians, you know? So, it's this inconsistent argumentation where, I guess, Russia has the right to invade whoever they perceive as a threat, and the Ukrainians have no right to resist. (laughs) Uh, It's interesting. I think um, maybe their best point is, what if, you know, Russia was putting arms or putting its military into Cuba, which they had in the past, or you know, some other country, which which we certainly wouldn't like. But um, I think it's a completely different situation where Russia is a country that actively has invaded and annexed its neighbors, um, our, our allies. So I think his analysis of the whole situation is a bit asinine and ridiculous. There was a good discussion at the end, and also on Politically Provoked, where Fuentes was acknowledging if I was a dissident in Russia or China, I would have it much worse, like I could be imprisoned indefinitely or killed, while also acknowledging that he has suffered in the U.S. Um, And it's like, okay, so why don't you show some more appreciation for the United States? And he said, like, he his enemy... His adversary is the oligarchic class here, the deep state here, uh, whatever you want to call them. And even though China and Russia are more brutal, they could potentially shelter him from persecution like they did to Snowden. So it's like this completely selfish rationalization for why he's pro-China, pro-Russia, because they're against his enemies and they could potentially provide shelter for him. But, like, what about the rest of his countrymen who are who are loyal to the United States and the government? It's, it's become this meme that, like, the deep state, the big evil deep state, is totally separated from the United States of America when it's made up of Americans who are appointed by a democratically elected government. And it just serves as this rationale to reject everything the country stands for 
by claiming the government is illegitimate because it's not real Americans or something like this. I mean, the guy is a fucking monarchist. So, it's just totally ridiculous. His stances. Uh, this probably isn't the best summary. It was a lengthy debate. But I kind of went over the highlights that I thought were interesting. The equation, the equivalence of an invasion versus the expansion of an alliance. You know what I mean? Um, this equivalence between a democratically elected government as being evil with uh, Putin. But actually, it's not a, it's not an equivalence. He... He portrays Putin as actually morally superior than the degeneracy of democracy uh, in the Ukraine and the United States, which is actually rather quite, quite crazy. So it is a false equivalence, but also a moral superiority of Putin and other other authoritarians, which he would uh, he would criticize if any American leader or anyone in the deep state did or does what Putin does. Um, anyway, I think I'm just rambling here at this point, so whatever. I just had one take in the car on the Fuentes debate, and that's it. So, everyone have a good day.